So we got these two huge chandeliers that don't fit in the door. So we got a grinder. We're going to cut it in half, get in the door, and weld them up in the house, and then hang them. So it's been a project here. Been cutting at it with a grinder on each of these arms. That one's already cut all the way through here. And uh, gonna just cut all these, separate it in half, and then fit them in the door. These are heavy, so we're gonna have to do some work inside the house to bolster up the attic to be able to hold the weight because they gotta weigh at least 125 pounds each. Gonna leave a little bit there so we can trim it off at the end. So we got the two chandeliers in the building now that we cut them in half and they could slide through the door sideways. And it got the first one welded up. Uh, it went pretty easy. It, it didn't have much uh, bent parts. I think the second chandelier was dropped when they removed it from the house originally because it nothing lined up right. So it's gonna take a little more time to get this piece set up on top of here and then go ahead and weld it. And then um, now we're pretty close to the ceiling and manipulating the chandeliers on the top of that scaffolding will be the next trick uh, after we rig up however we're gonna hang these things from the attic. And uh, then there won't be a lot of heavy lifting at that point. So I got my MIG welder here, but I don't have gas, so I'm using the flux core wire. And according to my chart here, gasless, Metal looks to be about this thick. It says 14 gauge. So it looks like it wants me in a setting of F and two and a half. Now I'm just gonna do some of the tack welds to hold it in place.
I'm using these flap discs. I'll put a link to them in the description. You get these on Amazon in bulk. I got like 10 of them for 40 bucks, I think. And uh, they work great. They don't grind too deep. So you can get a buff on it and still knock off the big stuff. These are 80 grit, four and a half inch flap discs. So yeah, really like them. So at this point, all the welding's done, and we've gone back and done touch-up paint. So you can see on this one here, not really even gonna be able to see these welds down from the floor, because this is gonna be hanging up about 10 feet high. Uh, but yeah, they came out pretty good, good enough for my welding ability, I guess. And uh, we, I, I did weld them on both sides just to be safe and ground them down and then touched it up with a bunch of touch-up paint. Uh, so yeah, happy with the way those came out. Then the chandeliers are all lit up, ready to go. And we've got the hanging system here. It's all ready as well. And, and uh, some additional pieces of chain and those canopies that'll go where it attaches to the ceiling. And uh, that'll be the next step is we'll be carrying these chandeliers over to the top of that staging. That staging is almost as high as this platform that I'm standing on. And then we'll be hooking up to the, to the electrical connections in the ceiling. So we got everything lit up, hung up, installed, and switches are working, and dimmers are working. Electricians did a bang up job on this. I mean, they really did. They're climbing in the attic, putting reinforcements in there, and, and uh, helping us lift this up and 
get them hung. They just did a great job. And uh, hey, I hope you liked the video. If you um, could give it a thumbs up and subscribe, that'll help other people find it too. And hope you have a great day.